Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and I've got a video for you today talking about backups. Yes, I know, I can hear you already. Why are you going on about backups again? You talked to us about backups last month. Well, I'm going to continue talking to you about them probably every month or every other month because it's a very, very important subject. We live in a digital world now. We haven't got things like photos. Well, we have, but they're stored in digital form, but we haven't got paper photos as much. We haven't got uh, as many CDs or vinyl records. We haven't got necessarily as many books. A lot of these forms of entertainment and memories are stored digitally, so it's very, very important that they're backed up properly. Now, just a bit of a disclaimer before I tell you this real story. The title of this video, Backups for Dummies, I'm not saying that people who back up in this way are dummies, I just thought it was a funny title. There you go, disclaimer done. So, on with the story, and this is a real story, I'm not gonna name any names, but a person I know recently had trouble with their computer, and what was happening was their computer would start up sometimes, perfectly normally, then it would end up hanging and sort of freezing, so they'd have to do a restart, and then, on some occasions it wouldn't even get as far as starting up fully so they would have to sort of shut the system down and try again. They asked for my advice and I said you're going to have to start up from your disk that was supplied with the computer which they duly did and they checked their hard drive and yes there were errors on the hard drive that weren't repairable so that the software supplied with the computer could not fix the hard drive that was in my opinion, on its way out. So there was definitely some errors on the hard drive. So what ended up happening was their computer went in for repair, the repair company replaced the hard drive, and then they restored as much information as they could from the existing old hard drive onto the new hard drive, but alas, they lost some data. Now, the backups that they had weren't in plural. And what I mean by that is it was not backups, it was one backup and it was on an external hard drive and it was a time machine backup so there you go you know it was an apple mac now and the time machine backup uh, was fine as a whole but when they went to restore data from it they couldn't get the exact data they wanted from certain parts of that backup and i always say to people don't rely entirely on one sort of backup especially a time machine backup i prefer to have a backup that is uh, not reliant on a single application to restore the files and what i mean by that is i want to see a backup where i can plug that backup into any computer not just the source computer and have a file and folder hierarchy where i can drag files back across to a new system or a different system should i wish to and they hadn't done that they just had this, just this one backup and they'd been sharing this hard drive with another computer as well so in fact it had two different machines time machine backups on it now to cut a long story short they didn't retrieve those files so they lost roughly about six to nine months of very important business and personal files that couldn't be restored to the computer so this is the lesson to be learned have that local backup but make it with an application that you can then get into the individual folders and files and then that way you know that you can check it every now and again pull some files across from it check it's still working but don't forget that backup hard drive could also become faulty that could also start erroring so never ever rely on one backup that is very very important so i've said this in previous videos have a local backup on a hard drive back up to Blu-rays or DVDs every now and again perhaps, have another external backup that you store somewhere off-site so that if you were to be unfortunate enough to have maybe a fire or a burglary, at least you've got that off-site backup as well and also back up to the cloud as well. That's very, very important. And in the next video this month, I'm gonna be talking about cloud backup and how useful it is, so do stay tuned for that. So I hope these little stories actually help you. I just want to, to share this information with you to open your eyes as to how important online security and backup really is. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.